Welcome everybody. I am here on my Idaho deer hunt two days before the season. Uh, been scouting this since July 2nd. Found some good bucks. Two really good bucks. I've seen them three times on five scouting trips, I think. Um, got up at three this morning, drove up here, started glassing right at daylight. Saw 12 bucks and it started raining, which is nice because I was here two weekends ago and it was 100 degrees and didn't see near the bucks I had been seeing. And this morning I saw um, a dozen and seven or eight of them I don't think I've ever seen before. A couple nice bucks, one good five by four, but uh, yeah, I'm really going to be looking for quality deer on this hunt. So my base camp is set up. I'm going to glass the rest of the day today, tomorrow, and where these target bucks are, I'm going to backpack to them. So this is just my in-between uh, trip staying on the mountain camp and try and keep this thing updated and see what happens. A little bit of luck, I might kill a good buck on this deal. Sort of update here. I've been glassing all day, other than setting up my camp and taking a one hour siesto. 18 bucks so far. It's kind of rainy, drizzly on and off. Still the best one I've seen is that mid-twenties 5x4, so keep on looking. I'm pretty sure I'm looking at those two big bucks I've been looking for. The helicopter didn't mess with them at all. Well, it's about, uh, I don't know. I've seen 29 different bucks between yesterday and this morning. I've glassed this area about 12 times, and every single time I've seen bucks I hadn't seen before. Just goes to show when it's a big area with a lot of hiding spots. Very hard to see every deer a place holds. That's that. Season opens tomorrow. Just about there. Got my pack all loaded. Uh, making a breakfast burrito here right quick before I go. And then it's game time. Ride my quad to the end of the road and hit the trail. Got my lucky gray suit on. It is not black. Oh, I'm all loaded up. It's always heavier than I want it to be, but then it feels better once it's on your back. Anyway, here we go. Season not being open yet, I don't want to get too aggressive, so I'll probably find a place to settle down and glass till dark, minimal camp, and see what happens. Nice protected little spot here. I'm gonna set up my camp just so it's ready for me at bedtime. I'm just gonna putz up and down this ridge laying pretty low.
7.30. I just watched and watched and watched and watched up there. And those two nice bucks came out. Same two I saw on July 2nd. Frankly, they're not as big as I thought they were. Feeling a rather torn. 32 bucks in the past two days. I've seen probably about 120 bucks during all my days scouting. And these two bucks are still the best ones I've seen. And they're not as big as I thought they were looking at them previous trips from a long way away back to starting from scratch if I decide not to shoot one. Public service announcement. The tuna creations deli style tuna salad. It's friggin' gross. Crunches of wet ass onion in it. Deli style my ass. These bucks would be smaller than a handful of ones I already have, so it's kind of where I'm at on it. Good unit, first day. I'm not just gonna go shoot one to shoot one probably gonna keep glassing until until it feels like everything's bedded down and I'll go back to my camp and I'm probably gonna hike all the way out of here and go start exploring some new country because I've looked at this stuff a lot in the past couple months and these are still the nicest bucks I've seen so that's where I'm at I did just have a donut in a PB&J, and they were really good. Just getting back to the quad here. I am soaked. I'm gonna ride back to my tent, put on some dry pants, switch my boots, have something to eat, and go keep looking for some more bucks somewhere. I could and I'm going to go explore some different country spent Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday morning so three and a half days in here plus the majority of my scouting time has been in here too and I looked at the best bucks I found and it just seems like uh, beating a dead horse to stick around in this area when there's so much other country in this unit. So I'm gonna probably head east a little bit, go see if I can find some drainages to glass long distance this evening, explore that country a little bit, and go from there. Danger.
guess the grass isn't always greener on the other side. My fender broke off my ATV trailer. Snapped off. And my light broke. And here's another piece of my light over here. Oh man. Uh, we're fast forwarded here five or six days I called it good uh, last weekend after those five days spent looking for big buck went home got a little time with the boys and Kristen went to work for the week and it is Friday afternoon Approaching evening so I'm back at it I'm going to go up into my unit from a neighboring unit on an ATV trail that goes up there and uh, puts me in some what should be some good country got everything loaded up here to park and backpack in if I want to um, gonna ride up there try and beat the sun glass before dark and play it by ear here we go again two bucks up in the top of that stuff back there not that big and uh, another thing happened I thought somebody was whistling at me and I kept hearing it and I'd turn around and it sounded like someone was whistling at me out of those rocks and then what I finally realized when I was exhaling, a nose hair was whistling. So I'm gonna go up over the top of this. I wanna, I know that there's some good south facing stuff over here. So I'm just trying to find the most secluded, bucky looking stuff I can. And I'm gonna go set up, get where I can see a lot, hopefully. Wait till dark. Nothing will probably happen, but you don't know if you don't try. Okay, this is awesome. <clears throat> I sat down within 30 seconds of glassing. I've got four bucks. I'm probably going to make a play on these. This wind is sketchy, though. They're in range. 618 yards. If the wind calms down, it's sort of a slam dunk. Kick it around, I think. Oh, he's a six on his left. He's got one little X 
extra on his right, so he has a 6 by 5. I better set up my rifle in case I decide to shoot this thing. He's flopping around right where he's been standing. Dead buck. Whew. He didn't go four feet. Well, wow. Yes. I'm pretty sure he's a six by five, but the five on the right side is is pretty weeny. I don't know if I'll be able to count it. I could see something a little extra on there. But anyway, yes. Let's go see what it looks like. Oh, here he is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I like him. I want to get to work on this thing pretty quick. Get him broken down in daylight would be nice and loaded up in my pack. Get him out of here. Kind of like he's just got the one eye guard. A little bit gnarly on the bases. Not a big frame, but good points all the way around, plus the extras. Uh, man, I'm, I'm tickled with this buck. Having played with him a little bit. I'm pretty confident he's the best one I've seen here. So uh, having passed on the bucks that I thought were going to be my takers all summer long, leaving me back to square one, looking for a new one, um, I am happy. So that's him right there. Got the entire buck in the pack. We got him strapped on top. Hard but fun. This is it right here. Look at this beautiful evening. Boy, it's pretty nice just to sit and soak it in. Burnt heels and a couple hours later, here I am, ready to head back to the truck. Pulling up to my house, and I believe Owen is probably going to come running out to see my buck. Look, I got him. Way bigger than this. Look, baby stone. Yeah. That's the meat in there. Yep. Here. You like him? Yeah, I do. Did I do a good job? Oh, you did. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>